This morning I'm making raw food for the cats. I bought these two fresh organic whole chickens yesterday at Trader Joe's. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Um, this chicken was $15.88 and this chicken is $15.25. So altogether it was about $31 for this chicken. This chicken is 5.3 pounds. This chicken is 5.1 pounds. So we're talking almost 10 and a half pounds of chicken. Um, there's going to be about a pound of bones from each chicken that I don't use. So it'll end up being about eight and a half pounds of chicken, which is a good amount. That'll probably last for about two weeks worth of food. This time I'm also adding about a half a cup of canned pumpkin. This was in the freezer. I just want to add it to the food and just see if the cats like it. I'm continuing with my ingredient experiments. And then I also have some hearts and liver pre-portioned. Again, this was in the freezer. This is about seven ounces of liver and eight ounces of heart. It's very important to put organ meats in uh, the raw food recipe. And then in here, in this small blender cup, I already have pumpkin seeds and some blueberries and raspberries. Not a whole lot. There's probably about 35 pumpkin seeds, probably around 30 blueberries. These are freeze-dried blueberries, about 10 freeze-dried raspberries. I'm going to add the rest of the dry ingredients to this. These two chickens say they may contain giblets, so I'm hoping that they do, because what I do is I take the giblets out of here, and then I freeze those, and I use those in the homemade raw food that I make for Hydrox. Right now I've also added one teaspoon of kelp, one teaspoon of the wheatgrass powder. I've just added some powdered alfalfa. That's probably two to four teaspoons. I don't know, that's just two tea bags that I use. I open up the two tea bags and I put those in. I'm also adding a teaspoon of detox powder. Now, these are just the amounts that I'm using right now. I'm not telling anyone to use these same amounts. Um, I still have not tested, but this is where I'm at with um, these supplements that I'm using. So far, the cats are eating the food um, with this amount of supplements in them. Whether I'm going to increase these amounts in the future has yet to be determined. It also depends on how much food I'm making at the time. You know, the more food I'm making at once, the more of these supplements I'm adding, and the less food I'm making, the less of these supplements I'm adding. This is what one of those chickens looks like after it has been put through the grinder. There's also the organ meat on the bottom, so... Um, it's quite a bit of meat. And although this is not pretty, this is the carcass that is left over after I cut off the drumsticks and the thighs and the wings and the breast meat. And what I am going to do with this is I am going to make a pot of chicken broth with this. I can't do that right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a large Ziploc bag Put this in my refrigerator and either do that later tonight or tomorrow morning. Today I have a brand new set of rubber gloves that I'm using while I prepare this chicken. I like these because um, they go like halfway up my arm and uh, I just feel like it's better that way there's less uh, splashing of stuff. I'm also wearing the apron that Zoe gave me so I'm fully protected from all of this chicken. Not that I need to be but I just like to be, you know, sanitary with everything. So this is both of the chickens after they've been through the grinder. I just added four pumps of pure wild Alaskan salmon oil. So that's probably like four teaspoons. I might have added five, so maybe that's five teaspoons. I also added some of this liquid vitamin E because it's good for the cats to get vitamin E. I'm going to add the pumpkin, I'm going to add the dry ingredients, and then I am going to mix everything together with my hands, with the gloves on. This is the third tray of scoops that those two chickens made, and it ends up being almost nine days of food. Um, it ends up being like eight and three quarters days of food, um, which means that each chicken probably would feed the cats for four days. So if I was to do this again with the whole chickens, it's gonna depend on how well the cats eat this food. 
But if I was to do it again, I would definitely buy more than two chickens. I'd probably buy a minimum of three, if not four, or possibly even five. It feels so great to have this little extra freezer to freeze the food in. So as you can see, there's one, two, there's three trays of the raw food um, freezing in here, which would fit enough for like nine days of cat food. There's still room on the bottom if I needed to store anything else, but the freezer was totally empty. And then this does not take into account room in my freezer, like the freezer above my refrigerator. So that could easily fit another three or four trays in there also. So actually, as I'm saying this, I'm realizing that the next time I do this, I should probably buy four chickens, maybe five. If I buy four chickens, it would make like six sheet pans full of food and that would be three in here and three in the freezer upstairs and I know I could fit that. If I buy five chickens, it might be a tight squeeze, but it's probably doable also. So let's do a little math. The chicken was like $31. Let's add another $2 for the uh, pumpkin and the supplements. So that brings it up to $33. And then let's divide that by nine. So that means it's costing me $3 and 66 cents a day to feed this raw food to the cats. So then let's divide that by two. And that means each meal is costing me $1 and 83 cents to feed this raw food to the cats. So if we divide that by four, because there's four cats, each cat is costing me 46 cents a meal um, to feed them this raw food, which I would consider less than half the price of buying commercially made raw food because I was used to estimate it at about a dollar per cat per meal. And then right now this is like 46 cents per cat per meal. So it's just under half of what I was paying for uh, commercially made raw food and um, I think that's great. So thank you so much again Pat for donating the grinder. Uh, it's been a huge help um, with the cost of raw cat food. Pooh's been taking a nap on his day bed and it took an hour so far so it took a full hour to prep the dry ingredients to uh, prep the chicken, to grind everything, to mix everything, to put the scoops on the pan. So that's not bad um, considering, you know, it's like nine days of food. It's a little more than a week's worth of food. So if I was to go out and buy raw food for the cats, it would take me close to an hour to do that also. Here's Splash. He's hanging out in the sun by the window. Now, sometimes it would take me more than an hour to buy raw food for the cats if I had to run to like three or four different stores to try to find raw food and that was like always the biggest issue the supply problem so all I need to do right now is clean up the kitchen and we'll see how long that takes I'm assuming it's gonna take probably like 20 minutes it might take less so it basically cost me 90 minutes today to make about nine days worth of food so if we divide 90 minutes by nine days that comes out to about 10 minutes a day to make homemade raw food. Now if we do 90 minutes divided by eight, if we say that only made eight days of food, that would be 11.25 minutes a day to make homemade raw food. That's not bad at all. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.